Alright, I'm making this video for those uh, people that have a 92, 93 Integra or a DA, wherever you want to call it. I've uh, been trying to see how to take off the stereo without damaging anything. Um, that's the video I'm making right now. So, um, I'm going to replace this old uh, tape deck to a new modern one. So, I will show you how. And, um, here, first thing what you got to do is remove the screws. One here, one here, one there, one there, and same thing on the other side. We'll be taking off this entire panel here since that's the only way to get to the stereo. So let me take off all the bolts and then I'll uh, continue the video in just a moment. Alright, so we continue on to this side. Take off this screw as well. here move the shift knob in order to take this entire piece out so taking that off then you have a screw right in here Then you start seeing that start getting loose. Loose. Ah, okay. Bear with me, everybody. All right. Once you Don't forget, there's one under the little change box right here. Kind of hiding, but without that one off. You're gonna break stuff. And we don't need that. Alright, now everything's just clipped on. You just gotta pull it off. It has that stupid uh, alarm thing there. Alright, so after that, you will see these other screws that hold on to the center console. Keys out of the way. And you gotta remove these too. I don't know why Honda made it so hard. But I guess it's it gets harder to steal your stereo or they're just gonna mess things up. Gotta take that one off. Bottom one off. It's kinda hard to do it with just one hand, so bear with me guys. All right, so once you remove that screw there, that screw there, and a billion of other fucking screws, we're gonna go to the other side. And take off the bolts to the bottom of here. One there, one at the other side of the console there. Remove those bolts. I think I gotta take apart this damn car. To get to these, and it's up. And here's the other one. Two off there, you 
Gonna just pop those off. Revealing another two more screws. as well and should be the final one there once taking off 101 screws your left there able to remove it. There it is. Make sure. Take this off carefully. Need to clean that off, but um, yep, that's how you remove it. A little bit of a pain, but So just to recap, you have to take apart the entire bottom in order to get your stereo out to replace it. But I mean, I gotta, I mean, it's a pretty good design, I guess, but in the sense that it'll be kind of hard to steal your stereo. But I mean, I guess they will, when they did steal them, they'll probably destroy all this kind of suck but so yeah there you go everybody I don't see another video on here I was trying to find a video to help me take this apart but I guess uh, I had to make the first one because everyone talks about the I guess the newer models all right hope you guys enjoy the video Give it a like if it helped, hopefully. So remember, don't forget, remember that there's a screw under that little cubby hole thing We puts your change box, I guess, a little change box. And also the one that goes under here. Two under here. Two on each side. The two on the bottom here. Another two on this no actually three I'm sorry three because the the one that goes on to the change box and then the two on each side and your shift knob and then you're free to take off the center console here all right everybody hoping this helped just want to add one more thing when you're taking off one of these stock stereos, you gotta take off this, also the little ashtray here. Because way back here, I don't know if you can see, they are bolts holding the stereo down to the frame. So if you try to pull it out, it's gonna be a bit, bit hard. So you gotta take those screws off. That's only if you have a stock stereo and you're putting those bolts back on. Just a good FYI. So here it is, all done. New stereos in, plugged in. Make sure you buy the head unit, um, I guess the casing that goes for this because these don't come with any, with any, um, hardware or mounting hardware which I found out the hard way so if you go to Best Buy or um, any audio place they'll have the the dims for this and um, yeah with that it'll make your life easier to um, put the stereo in alright